Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. With this beautiful performance being a fusion of music, song and dance, including folk traditional instruments, performed by Śląsk Song and Dance Ensemble and the musician Joszko Broda, we welcome you warmly to the opening ceremony of the World Urban Forum 11 Conference. Witamy w Polsce, witamy w Katowicach. My name is Anna Butrym and I'm honored to be a host of the ceremony. We are very pleased that you have come to the World Urban Forum, co-organized by the UN Habitat, the Ministry of Development Funds and Regional Policy, and the city of Katowice. I would like to welcome all the guests from all over the world, representatives of authorities, organizations, media, and above all, the participants of the conference, both those who have came to Spodek and those who are watching us online now. We are lucky to have with us today Mr. Mateusz Morawiecki, Prime Minister of the Republic of Poland. <clears throat> Ms. Maimuna Mohamed Sharif, Under Secretary General and UN Habitat Executive Director. Mr. Grzegorz Puda, Minister of Development Funds and Regional Policy of the Republic of Poland. <clears throat> Ms. Małgorzata Jarosińska, Jedynak, Secretary of State in the Ministry of Development Funds and Regional Policy, <clears throat> Government Plenipotentiary for the Preparation of the World Urban Forum in Katowice 2022. Mr. Marcin Krupa, Mayor of the City of Katowice, Mr. Barry Verbranovich, Mayor of Kitchener and Governing President of United Cities and Local Governments. <clears throat> Welcome to the ministers, members of parliament, representatives of the government, ambassadors, regional and local representatives. We are very pleased that this year's conference takes place in Katowice. The World Urban Forum this, this way takes place for the first time, not only in Poland, but also in Central and Eastern Europe. Polish cities are innovative, they are modern, and they are responding to the current and future challenges with their development being very dynamic. However, it is worth remembering what a difficult road they have there to travel from the destruction of the Second World War through the difficult post-war period on the eastern side of the Iron Curtain. Let's get to know their history better. Please join me in watching the video. Modern centers of culture and business, innovative architectural and transport solutions, renovated historical monuments, greenery, open and resident-friendly space. This is how Polish cities look today. However, 30 years ago, this landscape looked completely different. This was largely due to the Second World War and post-war actions of the communist regime. After the Second World War, Poland was an almost completely ruined state as a result of the operations of the German and Soviet armies. Not only buildings were destroyed, but also the whole infrastructure and even industry and agriculture. Due to the mobilization and determination of the Polish people, life quickly rose from ruins. However, the end of the war did not bring expected relief. Poland was left on the eastern side of the Iron Curtain and in the following decades had to struggle, not only with the hardships of the country's reconstruction, but also with an increasingly destructive impact of the communist regime. The centrally managed economy and wrong investments quickly brought to a standstill, not only Polish local government, but also innovation. Even though Polish cities rose from ruins, they were given socio-realist appearance and functions instead of a basis for growth. In addition, due to the lack of private capital, cities lost their value in almost every aspect. 
the fall of communism brought an opportunity for change. The emergence of solidarity and regaining of independence by Poland in 1989 provided a spark for the country's rebuilding. Even though the Polish people struggled with soaring inflation and an economic crisis, they amazed the world with remarkably dynamic development. Moreover, the outbreak of entrepreneurship helped to catch up quickly. Polish cities also benefited from this. Despite the dramatic twists and turns in the history of Poland, Polish cities underwent a spectacular metamorphosis during the last 30 years. They aim at better and more sustainable development and a balance between the economic, social and ecological aspects. Revitalization of old spaces as well as new and bold projects are focused on enhancement of residents' quality of life and on their needs. Nowadays, Polish cities are turning into friendly places with increasingly better standards of life, providing easy and quick access to services, energy, housing, transport, education, and healthcare. Expanding and enhancing leisure offer, including culture, sports, and tourism, friendly administration, highly qualified staff, access to knowledge and technology makes cities attractive, not only to investors, but also to present and new residents. Polish cities are increasingly aware of their strengths and weaknesses. Knowledge of their potential and latent capabilities provides a solid foundation for dealing with contemporary problems. Climatic changes, air pollution, economic crises, unemployment and the coronavirus pandemic are the problems that affect all cities irrespective of their location. In Poland, the development of cities' resilience is based on smart city management and modern technologies, conscious environmental protection and ecological solutions. Cities also draw on solutions which initiate and support the development of civil society, committed to the matters of the city and local communities so that it is possible to change our cities for a better future.